welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and today we're doing a farmer's market grocery haul. I went to the farmer's market this morning. I'm literally just like in my gym clothes, messy hair. I slept on it dry last night, or wet last night. Not always the best idea. I'll pop in an Instagram story of me getting up this morning. It was kind of like Mufasa, but I'm just embracing it. You know, no heat, hair, life. Uh, and I got a ton of, not actually a ton, it wasn't a huge grocery haul that I did today because there wasn't a ton of produce at the market yet. It's still quite early since today is June 1st. So there, you're starting to see certain things, but as the months go into the summer, then they'll have like a full selection and lots of variety. But I got lots of greens and I brought a reusable bag, which was nice. It's always nice when you remember it. And then I got something sweet, which I'll talk about in a second. And they also, I was hoping to get celery at the market, but they didn't have any, so I had to go to the grocery store. But right now I am doing a 30 day celery juice challenge and then I'm documenting it. I'm gonna share it in a video to tell you guys what my thoughts are of doing it like religiously every single morning. I think I'm drinking two cups. It's, yeah, it's kind of insane. So Matt was gonna do it with me and then he chickened out because he drank it this morning and was like, eh, not so much for me. So anyways, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got and let's just hop right in. First thing I got, I got lots of greens just because they looked so vibrant, but this one here is Swiss chard and you can eat Swiss chard raw in a salad. This is a rainbow one, so you can see the different colors. And you can eat it raw, you can saute it, you can put it on a burger, like you can really do so much with it. Obviously a salad is delicious. And I, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it, but I need to get these in the fridge because they've been hanging out in the heat a little bit. We took, we, I met up with my friend Angela and her dog Sadie, and we went to like a nearby field and we just had the dogs run and be crazy. So the produce was sitting in the car a little bit in the heat, so it's a little wilty, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna crisp right up once I get in the fridge. And then next thing I got is some kale. Like this kale looks so, it's like soft. It's not, sometimes at the grocery store, I find the kale to be really hard. And this one here is still like really soft and tender and I know it's gonna be really nice and sweet. And you could just like chop this up, massage it into a salad. You could saute it. You could turn it into like a coleslaw. Actually speaking of coleslaw, the next item, I had never heard about it before, and that's the nice thing about going to a farmer's market is sometimes you discover new things that you've never tried. And I forget the name. Chloe, do you remember the name of this one? Asian what? Cabbage? I don't remember. Comment below if you know what this is. He said it's similar to Napa cabbage, but to me it's almost like if Napa cabbage had a baby with I don't know, romaine or butter lettuce. It's very soft. He said this is really good chopped up in a coleslaw, so I'm gonna try that. I might even try sauteing it. I don't really know. I was just like, oh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna try it, you know, get something new that I wouldn't get at a regular grocery store. All right, next up, another, I got a lot of greens. Funny enough, because I'm doing celery juicing right now, but I'm still drinking my smoothies because the celery juice is not like a breakfast. It's just like a pre-breakfast drink. So I got some beautiful spinach from the market and just, it even smells really fresh. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with this, but like you can see the bottoms are so pink and cute and a little bouquet of spinach, you know? Yeah, I got a lot of greens. I'm gonna be eating a lot of salads this weekend. And then I got, oh, I was, I was actually hoping to get this at the grocery store the other day, but they didn't have it. And it is a bundle of radish. Like how beautiful is that? I've been really into radishes. I actually have, I don't know if it's up yet, but I have a delicious spring salad recipe coming your way soon. If it's up, I'll link it down below. I'll pop in a photo of it here. It's so pretty and so good and it has radishes in it and I've just been obsessed with these. They're so crunchy, they're really good for you and just when you like thinly slice them, they're delicious. Highly recommend getting them. They have a little spice to them sometimes, but they just look so bright and colorful. I love them. Another very springy food or produce is asparagus. I showed this in my spring grocery haul. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it here. If you like grocery hauls, definitely check that one out. And this one was actually a really good price and they just looked really pretty. So I got some of that. I usually like to saute this, grill it, have it with some salmon on the barbecue. Oh, that's like my favorite summer meal. I love it and I'm definitely gonna be doing that with the asparagus that I got. I didn't get a lot of stuff this time just because like I said, there wasn't a ton of produce. It was a lot of flowers and whatnot, but I wanted to pick up a few things to show what you can get right now at farmer's markets. And the next thing I got were some cucumbers. So these are kind of like, they're not baby cucumbers, they're like medium size. These are probably like the ones you can make pickles out of, I don't know. 
maybe that would be a really big pickle. So I, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with these. I use cucumbers all the time. I mentioned it in the 10 foods I buy every single week. I'll link that video here. And I throw these in salads, smoothies. Like I know it's weird to put cucumbers in your smoothies, but they're so hydrating and crunchy. And I just, well, they're not crunchy in your smoothie, but they, they get blended up. But they're really, really good. And I just can't get enough of them. Even dipped in hummus, it's delicious. I love them. And then last but not least, I know, I felt like, it, am I actually doing a grocery haul that's under 10 minutes? Who am I? I have no idea. Uh, last but not least, I got a bumbleberry homemade pie. So this lady at the farmer's market, Chloe goes, Chloe and her boyfriend Javon go there all the time. They always get like apple or blueberry or bumbleberry, like she's amazing pies and they're not overly sweet. So my issue with like buying pies sometimes is they're just so much sugar in them. And the lady who makes these actually doesn't put that much sugar in them. And like, you don't even have to hear her say it to know. When I first tried it from Chloe, I was like, oh my God, I, I really like this blueberry pie. It's not too sweet. It's like, you can really taste the sweetness from the fruit instead of just like added sugar. And this one here, maybe I can open it up for you guys. Like, look at this pie. It's like a heavy pie too. It's not one of those thin grocery store pies. So we're gonna enjoy this. So I actually got this in celebration of baby Diana, my new niece. I'll pop a photo of her here. She was born yesterday, May 31st. She weighs 8.7 pounds. She's a, we have big babies in our family. It's scary. I'm so scared for when I have my first child. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But she was born at like 12.09 in the morning and it was just the most crazy labor. But she's beautiful and we're so excited to see her today my sister's coming back from the hospital tonight so i'm gonna bring over a pie there may be a slice or two taken out of it already but like whatever she won't care she's my sister so hopefully you guys enjoyed this farmer's market grocery haul it was a little sweet and short but i want to just inspire you guys to go to your local markets pick up some fresh local produ produce sometimes local to me is better than organic if i know where it's coming from and i can ask the farmer what they use and just because they don't have the certification to be organic, because that can be like a long lengthy process and very expensive. Sometimes they are organic, you just have to ask. So support your local farmers, pick up some fresh produce, make yourself some salads, smoothies, soups, stews, whatever you gotta do to get some fresh produce into your meals. I will link a whole playlist that I have. I'll link it down below of other grocery hauls that I've done in the past, Trader Joe's, uh, spring ones, lots of things, and I actually have an old farmer's market grocery haul too that I'll have in that playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. I post here on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.